hello like that hello and i have endeavored with this this i've endeavored with this and um i said two days ago that's how far i am i'm pretty much similar maybe probably actually a lot less i'm like half not even half i'm like there so it's going super well not it's like good like obviously i'm enjoying it because i love this world but it's just so daunting like to have to read that like put that together as one book are you kidding me and i just want to read from the perspectives i want to read from like i just want to see my girls and that's like one perspective out of like three or four different like and it's not like i'm not talking about one singular perspective actually i mean like one like zone so any of the like six or seven perspectives in this zone i'll take but it always seems to be over here i just don't care the entire book i don't care but i do like i'm it's fine but like is it you know what i mean well, that's the current read and i want to get through them like not i don't want to take ages to do it because like i have more books i want to read in january i want to have these done before the month's over but i don't know if that's realistic like i have this week next week and then the week after that the month's over so that's kind of unrealistic isn't it that's gonna take me at least like a week or two probably two probably three something else i wanted to show is so basically me and my bestie are going to some Taylor Swift concerts this year very very exciting but i don't know what the situation is with friendship bracelets over here because we've not had any uk shows yet like i just don't know what the vibe is so obviously i want to be prepared so i'm gonna make some but i'm gonna make some special ones just for us and i wanted to get some like fun charms so i did so i'm gonna show you those i've got these little butterflies <laughs> these are so cute and i got these little dices oh my god so exciting Got these little moons and then i also got you can't actually see them because there's a sticker covering it but can you like these are little signs moon sign oh incredible incredible these little cowboy boots oh my god i'm obsessed scarves these are so cute are you kidding me who made these like little scarves and then these little like archer ones I'm so excited about that but I'm gonna have like a bunch extra because I'm only gonna use like two from each because I'm just gonna do like special ones for us maybe I'll do a couple and if I like meet someone that I really like I'll be like here <laughs> you can have that one um if we do that like I just can't I don't understand how that works like I can't picture giving a friendship bracelet like it just feels really uncomfortable like that's not my kind of like thing like talking to people that you don't know and just like going up to them like i feel like at least the initial like do you guys have friendship bracelets is gonna be so awkward because like what if people don't like how do <sighs> what's gonna happen truthfully is that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have the balls to approach anybody and i'm just gonna go home with 20 friendship bracelets like that are mine and just be like hey <laughs> i'm gonna make myself go on a walk now because my like one of my goals for the new year was go on a walk every day have i done that no i've been on like three walks Not even necessarily like for any reason other than i just need to leave the house more <laughs> this is the thing it's so freaking cold that's why i don't want to go because there's just not enough layers to put on like i will never be warm enough but I'm gonna make myself do it because I'm a little bit like, a little bit restless and it's like 20 to three. So it's gonna get dark in like an hour and a half probably. Also, I live in like rural area. 
So when I lived in Lincoln for uni, I would go on walks all the time because I could just go like into town and like see things and like go in different directions and stuff. And it was like fun. But now being here, I have like one walk that I do or like two. It's basically the same thing. You just, it's just fucking fields everywhere. I'm sat on my floor right now because I'm gonna go through all of my jumpers and try and like reorganize them, get rid of some, whatever, because I have so many, they don't fit in this drawer. But I feel like I don't have that many because I never like, I'm always wearing the same ones again and again because I feel like I don't have anything, but this jaw bet, this jaw, this drawer barely closes. So there's a problem. Also, hack. Keep a bar of soap in your drawers to stop your clothes from getting like a musty, dusty, fusty smell. out like actually that's not true i took out three jumpers that i don't want i have two that i'm gonna move to the wardrobe and then my christmas one so that's actually a bunch so i have double the space thank god now i can buy more things guys why is it so dark in here oh my god it literally looks like i'm filming on a fucking what were those old things that i used to like the baby cameras like it looks like I'm filming on that. I'll insert a picture probably. Still reading Tower of Dawn. Obviously, it's going to take me forever, but it. I'm enjoying it so much more than I like. Well, that's not true because I knew I would enjoy it. But like, Tower of Dawn is pretty good. Like, it's pretty entertaining. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. I do prefer um, do prefer Empire of Storms. Like, I am getting excited every time I know I'm moving over to Empire of Storms and I am getting a little bit pissed off every time I know I'm moving to Tower of Dawn. But when I'm actually reading Tower of Dawn, it's fun. I'm like 286 pages into Tower of Dawn, 233. So yeah, over 500 pages read. So I basically read a whole fucking novel already. <laughs> Proud of myself. Um, but yeah, it's going really good. One thing that I want to mention about it this could potentially, if you don't want to like know any context about the book, because I know for me, if I hear something out of context and I don't like the idea of it, it can put me off. So if you're like that, don't listen to this. But I don't really think it's a spoiler because it's just, I feel like Sarah J Maas always does this. Her favourite thing is to like have them switch up couples. Like you never know who's going to end up with who. They stay changing partners. They like from book to book, it's like, oh uh, yeah no we're actually not in love anymore um i don't know if i should have mentioned that earlier and it isn't like you see the progression of them like falling out of it it feels sudden it's like i thought that you guys were really into each other literally last book and now you're like i feel nothing i feel nothing so weird but also i think <laughs> okay keep me on my toes why not what I've been doing, this is going to make me sound fucking insane. Have I already told you this? I might read. Hmm. I told you about me walking around, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, so I've still just been walking around my house, <laughs> like, reading. But it's actually so nice to move and read at the same time. I would love one of those, like, walking pads. When I just sit down and read, I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time, especially midday. But... It's good to like take a break from being sat down, have a bit of a walk about, get some steps in. And like I'm doing my reading at the same time, so I'm getting through the book. I don't know. It's been it's been really enjoyable for me. And now I'm back in Empress Storms. I just finished a Tower of Dawn section. But this is a really short section, which I'm kind of pissed off about. It's literally like three pages long. So I'm a bit pissed off about that. But I'm actually fine. I'm in a good mood. I'm going to do some more pages, I think, in my reading journal because Rachel Catherine posted her, like, reading, like, her 
video for her reading journal for 2024 and she had some spreads in it that I didn't include in mine that was like oh that would actually be handy I would enjoy having that does it piss me off that I'm gonna have like spreads that I would use throughout the year after my January like page oh my god you don't understand how much that upsets me I you don't get it how much that upsets me <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it though we're gonna have to just move forward with that and I'm just gonna have to deal with it because what am I gonna do wait until next year to do them no I did consider buying a whole new journal and starting again that was an exaggeration though so I'm just gonna do them have a bit of fun I'm so excited about this week well that's not true I'm not excited because the idea of doing anything always is like oh I can't be bothered I'm going to Lincoln with my parents this weekend because they have something to do up there but that's where I went to uni and some of my friends still live there so I can see my friends and if you don't know I have no friends around where I live literally zero I'm not exaggerating there's no one around here on a like weekly daily basis for me to see so it's nice to go see friends I'm so much higher energy than I thought I was I thought I was like kind of having a low day like not like emotionally wise but like mood wise and like energy I'm not apparently I'm like <sighs> oh do you know what else I did last night me and my mum started this is what we did we started Love Island um look at my nails I need to repaint my nails oh I'm being really like one topic another one topic another I'm gonna stick to this topic we started Love Island All Stars is that what it's called really good I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like going in with like these people that you've seen before but then I was like okay Drag Race All Stars the first like well not the first season but season two season three best seasons of Drag Race in my opinion especially season two that was <laughs> incredible as it went on like they just had any random person on it like it wasn't like people's favorites really anymore like no t like to be honest um so obviously this is the first season of love island all stars who knows if they're going to do it again but we're probably going to be getting all of like the best people now so it's exciting and we're enjoying it after that we continued with real housewives of salt lake city because holy mother of god that is such an incredible season of real housewives well version of real housewives if you've not seen it <sighs> we just started season three and my the look on my face when i saw that jen shah was still on season three what the fuck i swear to god i thought jen shah would be off the show as soon why am i having a full housewives talk it's still gonna happen i'm sorry i thought jen shah would be off the show straight after like the police showed up when they went on that trip she was on the rest of the season and she's on this season. I'm so confused. When is she going to go? When is she going to be gone and in jail? She's in jail right now. And she's on the show professing her innocence, which is so weird to watch. Like it's because I was saying to my mum when, we when we were watching it, I was like, if I had watched this at the time, I would believe her because she is so like sure in her conviction. She's like, I would never do anything like that and the stuff that this is doing like she, talking about her family and how much it's hurting them and stuff and like how innocent she is and I'm like the fact that she was lying is so insane but I do love that show it's so good the ladies are so fucking insane but I just do love it like it's the most unhinged housewives I have ever watched I've only ever actually finished Beverly Hills to be honest I watched a lot of Atlanta but I got bored after a while and I've started New York and I got bored. Maybe I'll try New York again. Housewives is so good. It's a different level of TV. I'm sorry, anybody who's gonna wanna come and say to me, that's terrible TV, that's bad TV, that da, 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 da. Shut the fuck up, it's gold. And don't get me wrong, I love film, cinema, all of I love a good show, a good movie, like critically acclaimed but i do love housewives just a tad bit more it's so good 
anyway oh, i just want to watch house size now okay i'm gonna get back to what i was doing i'll show you my pages actually when i've done them because that'll be fun fun little clip and then i can put in the title reading journal hello <clears throat> it is a lot lot later i don't even know what day i filmed that last clip to be honest i'm trying to figure it out because i'm editing it right now but i've realized i never showed you the pages i did in my reading journal and that was the whole point i literally just said if i show it i can put it in the towel so i'm gonna do that now should i just do like a one of these or should i like film it no i'll just do one of those i can't be asked oh this is my reading journal silly goofy brain <gasps> I've got something else to show you actually. You're in for a treat. We're actually lucky that we waited. Although don't, there's some personal things in there. Maybe I'll see what I can show you. So the first thing I did, I thought this was such a good idea. Obviously I told you I like found all these things from Rachel's like video, um, but she did a TBR cart of all the books from 2023 and then a new books page that are coming in and I thought that this was such a good idea because one of my goals for the year is to um end the year with a smaller or like a smaller TBR than I started with so I feel like that's such a good year to keep myself accountable for actually reading the books that I have and it looks really cute like I've already read four working on two still not done with <laughs> Empire of Storms Tower of Dawn I'm getting off topic as always but I should just mention I am at the big chunk as you can see which is just Emperor of Storm so that is very exciting okay I also did this is really fun this is my own kind of design situation but this is a series tracker for all the series I'm reading right now I did them like little bookshelves and then I'm gonna put the fate like a picture of my favorite book in each series in these little spots but I did it like this because I always well, my previous series trackers, I've never really kept up with because I just haven't found them like satisfying to do. So I was like, okay, I need to figure out a way that I'm going to want to fill it out. And I love filling out like the little book squares. So I thought that that was a good idea. And then the final pages I did was a rereads page and then a, a page of Kindle reads, which... This isn't that many like squares, but I really don't use my Kindle that much anymore. So I feel like that honestly is enough for the year. If not, I'll just do another one. But yeah, I'm excited to track my rereads because I haven't reread any books, I don't think. Like at all from when I started like properly reading again. So that'll be exciting to see what I get into. I'm kind of fancying a reread in the, in the near future. So yeah, that was that. And then over the weekend, I just had the urge to get a new journal. So I have a lot of books, like a lot of journal situations. I have my like weekly planner, I have my book journal, and then I have like my journal that's got all my just like stuff in, writing about myself. Oh, this is a fun page. I did like a page for the Barbie movie because it was inspiring. Um, yeah, but I just had the urge to get a new one. Like, this one's so tattered. I've had it for a year. It's not actually finished, which is the annoying thing. I was like, no, you've got to wait. But I just don't love this journal. Like, it's lined, which I don't love, and the pages are kind of thin. So it just doesn't really give what I want it to give. Because I like to write in it, but I also like to do, like, spreads of, like, my favourite songs this month. Like, you know, like, fun things like that. So... I got this which I really love because so funny red has been like my new thing which I feel like everyone's really into red right now red's always been my least favorite color is which is kind of concerning that I'm probably gonna hate this in a month but it's fine I really like it though because it's so short I feel like it's gonna be really satisfying to fill this up and I'm gonna be able to fill it up probably less than a year one of the pages I did just basically the vibes for the year what we want to go for we've got things written on here like classy and simple colorful eyeshadow comfy clean effortless like that's the vibe that we're going for hopefully we can execute that and then i have some more pages i'll cover this one but this one's fine um i have 
three of these kind of pages. I have a social, a uh, career, and then self-care, which is just kind of like a collage of all the things that I want to be doing. So I want to go on some girls' trips, some um, concerts, Taylor Swift is going to be happening, travel, and then just like spend more time with my friends basically because I just don't get to see them. So any time is so valuable to me. And then like stuff on this page about like, I want to read more, even though I read all the time, I want to do more like of my hobbies, like fun little creative things. And then this is the only other thing I did, which I did this last year with Taylor Swift songs, which was so fun and it was so interesting to look back at. So basically every month I pick a song that I feel like sums up the month. And I didn't just do Taylor Swift this year because I feel like I like was, I sometimes I was like, oh, there's this other song that I would love to put in, but I just put Taylor Swift song. So, so yeah, every month I'm going to put a song for the month and then maybe at the end of the year, a song that represents the whole year. So yeah, that's all we've got so far, but very excited. This is my new like thing that I'm obsessed with doing right now. I did feel a bit silly to be honest buying it when I had a perfectly good one that had pages left and also the truth, the secret truth, the truth is I did redo all of those pages from in here. I'd already done them in here but I'm insane. I'm insane and I just had like the urge to be kind of like artistic and make like a little collage so I wanted to redo them. I know that's crazy like what like, what what are you doing but that's just me I can't help it when I get like a fixation I need to do something I need to do it yeah I'm gonna end this here it's not really been that much I've done but I feel like I've just been yapping which I don't know I don't know what I kind of like more for the vlogs the vlogs I'm kind of like undecided on how I like to do them whether I just like to make them really chatty because I could talk for hours as you can probably tell. But I do like doing like the little like montage -y things as well. So maybe a good mix. We'll just kind of come up with our own little system over here. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or week or month or whatever. Uh, yeah.